Google Drive happens to be one of the most famous, most popular, and even most used cloud storage platform. But I believe that most of you watching this video are already aware that there are several other cloud storage platforms or applications that you can switch to or use instead of Google Drive. So if you watch this video to the end, I'm going to tell you why you might want to switch your cloud storage computing or cloud storage from Google Drive to any of this awesome five alternatives to Google Drive. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frederick. I realize that I usually don't say my name <laughs> during any of my videos. So F-N-I-S-B-C, the F there actually means Frederick. So I might want you to refer to me as Frederick. So if this is your first time of watching a video on my channel, you are welcome. And this is how we welcome first timers. Do join us, the community of people who use their smartphone productively and profitably by hitting the subscribe button down below. And also, just beside is a bell icon. When you tap that bell icon, you're going to hear a beep sound that is going to get YouTube to notify you whenever I drop a fresh video. And if you are a returning viewer, of course, you know you are my MVP. And this is also how I welcome you. So whether you're returning or you are a new viewer, do ensure that you put the like button down below so the algorithm can share this video with more small business owners so they can get to learn about alternatives to Google Drive. With this, let's get started. So if you're watching this video and you've never heard of cloud computing or cloud storage platforms before, simply cloud storage or cloud-based storage is just a platform that allows users to save, share and collaborate on files using multiple devices, right? So this is like um, an updated form of storage that allows the use of the cloud, all right, allows users to save to store their information or data or documents or files on the internet. Now, the traditional way of saving files was to save on your phone's ROM or memory, save on your computer, save on an external um, flash drive, hard disk drive or whatever. But we all know that something could happen. Maybe you could misplace it, virus could attack it, and all of those files that you saved could, you know, vanish, right? So we also know that Google Drive is like the most popular, top used um, cloud-based storage, right? But they are not the only ones. That's the essence of this video. There are a few reasons why I would say you should consider an alternative to Google Drive. So the first one is price. Um, just a minute. Thanks for the water break. <laughs> All right, the first one is price. You may know that Google Drive offers you 15 gig of free storage, all right? But after that 15 gig, to expand the storage, then you might want to pay either of these prices for an extra 100 gig, then you'll be paying $2 every month or 19, that's $20 every year. So for extra 200 gig, then you will be paying $3 monthly or $30 yearly or for extra 2 terabytes you'll be paying $10 monthly or $100 yearly. I know that you might not be able to afford this right but there are still some alternatives that will give you more, more storage even for free and also more extended storage at a cheaper price. So this is one of the reasons why you might want to consider an alternative to Google Drive. Compatibility is the next reason or the next feature that may want you to you know, check out other alternatives to Google. Now we already know that Google always has this ecosystem around their products. So if you're using, in fact, once you have a Google account, you have access to G Suite, you have access to Google Doc, you have access to YouTube, you have access to, um, you have access to their Google Drive and so many other Google platforms, all right? But if you're using something outside the G Suite, then you might want to consider an alternative instead of using Google Drive. 
because it may not you know be compatible with every other um, platforms outside of the Google ecosystem security is the third one which is largely the problem that so many people could have with Google you know that Google's encryption is open to be accessed by Google themselves, law enforcement, government, or even hackers. I remember that if a hacker should get access to your email and your password, all of your cloud or Google services is already vulnerable. And also the fact that individual files on Google Drive cannot be passworded, right? They cannot be passworded such that once someone gets access to one, they almost have access to everything. All right, and there is no further. I know that I've shared links to some drive to people, and they can just tap type on it. And once I give them access, they have access to it. So, what if they now send that link to somebody else without my notice? Although, that even in the alternatives we have, it's just very few that their own servers cannot have access to your file or to your drive. This is the essence of what looking for an alternative to Google Drive, which a lot of persons may not even have the time to explore. But that is why we are making this video and we are going to be talking about five awesome alternatives that you might want to switch to or you might want to use in the place of Google Drive based on these features that we have mentioned price, compatibility, and security. So the first one is Microsoft OneDrive. We definitely know that um, Microsoft is almost, you know, one strong competitor of Google because just as we have Google Suite um, or G Suite, we also have um, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, you know, the Microsoft Office, right? So Microsoft OneDrive is the cloud-based platform or cloud storage platform owned by Microsoft. Okay, and so what are the advantages over Google? In terms of pricing, I think I'm going to mention the part that it has advantage over um, Google, right? So there is Microsoft 365 family. Remember, 365 means all of the Microsoft package, right? And it offers six terabyte total for a hundred dollar per year. Remember that Google offers two terabyte every year for hundred dollars but onedrive is offering six terabyte for hundred dollar per year which is quite awesome right and there are also some other packages for home for business owners that is when compared with google you know is um much more of advantage so onedrive security is almost similar to that of google but there is an exception which is that feature of personal vault this personal vault allows um you know people uh, you know offers an authentication that you might need to add enter a pin or some level of verification before you can get access to files inside that personal vault so it offers another level of security to your files all right and in terms of compatibility or integ integration with other um, platform we already know that microsoft has the microsoft 365 so the document you 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 typed on microsoft word can quickly be integrated into their onedrive okay and every other type of storage or whatever type of file document or information that you might want to save in the cloud can also be quickly compatible with either your phone your system your laptop your tablet or whichever device that you're using so this also makes it even of the same competitive level i wouldn't say of advantage the only advantage i can say that onedrive offers over google drive is in terms of pricing and also in terms of and the next level security they provide when you are using the personal vault for your files in the OneDrive. The second alternative to Google Drive is pCloud. The beautiful thing about pCloud, I think I'll give it to it based on security. It is like the most secured cloud storage system or cloud storage platform. Another beautiful thing is there are so many beautiful things about pCloud is that it encrypts your document or your files while still on your phone or while still on your computer even before you have already uploaded it to what even before you've uploaded it to the drive and their system do not have access to your information do not have access to your drive it also allows collaboration so you can share files through link all right downloadable link to your friends or your family and also also in terms of pricing with $500 you can get a lifetime 2 terabytes on pCloud 
Remember that two terabytes on Google store um, cost hundred dollars per year, right? So if you're using um, Google for over two years, right? Or if you're using Google for like ten years, of course you're running a business, right? So if you're using Google for like ten years, that means at the end you've paid what? Then one thousand dollars, all right. But with five hundred dollars, you get a lifetime access to two terabyte of data on what two terabyte of storage on P Cloud. So if you're looking for um, maybe um, a cloud storage that is going to ensure security, that's also going to be flexible when collaborating with people, sharing files, and most of all, very cost friendly, right? Then I would also suggest P Cloud. The next cloud storage alternative to Google Drive we are going to look at now is Box. So Box, the beautiful thing about Box is that it can integrate with your Google Workspace and also your Microsoft Workspace. So if whether you're working on Google's um, platforms or you're working on Microsoft platforms, you can you know integrate them with Box. You can save your files or your documents to Box directly. But the disadvantage of I see I've seen in Box is that um, there is a limit to the size of document you can upload, right? There's a limit. You cannot upload above 250 at a go. Even though that it starts you off at 10 gig free, right? But you cannot upload a file that is 500 MB at, at a go, right? So it needs to be in from 250 and below and even if you're using um the expensive plan they still have a five gig limit that means you cannot upload a file or document that is of more than five gig okay so that's like the of the disadvantage but in terms of security it also offers some excellent security system and um collaborative features and um it also has unlimited storage for business. So if you're using it for business purpose with um, $15 per year or $25 per year, you can get as much space as you want. But remember I said that you cannot upload over 5 gig of data at a go. All right. You cannot exceed that, but you can ex add like, like you can break it into five gig. Although I don't even know what you could be trying to upload that is over five. Maybe it's a, a movie or whatever. So it's possible. Right. So what the awesome thing about Box is that it is the only cloud storage that offers you unlimited storage plan. So you can have 100 gig, two terabyte, five terabyte for as low as $25 per user per month. Okay, so that's the beautiful thing. So you can also try to explore Box and see if that should be or that could be or that is your own preferred cloud storage platform. The next cloud storage I'm going to talk about is the one I would say it's not so popular, but it's awesome, right? Even though that pCloud has already boasted to be one of the most secure or the most secure cloud storage, but there's a beautiful thing about Sync, and I'm going to talk about two things, security system and pricing. Sync generates encryption keys that is saved locally, not on their server. Remember I said that Google Drive uploads your encryption to their servers, making it possible for Google themselves to access your file. Remember they want to track you to see, you know, to be able to share apps with you, making it possible even for um, hackers, for government agencies, for law enforcement to have access to your drive. But Sync do not save to their servers. It saves it locally. All right, making it even impossible for Sync themselves to have access to your what, to your files. And that is really awesome. And another thing is the pricing. I think Sync happens to be the cheapest that we are going to talk about in these alternatives because for two terabytes that Google will give you for $10 per month, two terabytes of storage on Sync is only $8 monthly. And also, it also offers unlimited storage plan for teams. That's for business owners at $15 per month. So what this means is you can expand to 10 terabyte or whatever unlimited, all right? For $15 per month, that is for business owners. So Sync is quite awesome, but 
But the disadvantage is that so there is no integration for Google applications. You know, it does not offer some collaborative features. Okay, making it in, yeah, making it possible for collaborations, right? But in terms of look, if you're looking for a cloud storage that can allow you to save for a very long time, then Sync is the option for you here right so in terms of pricing in terms of security i think i can give sync um 10, 10 over 10 right but in terms of collaboration then sync may not be the best option for you okay so we've been talking about a lot of this is like the last of the alternative to google drive and i can say that mega is the only cloud storage that generously gave you 20 gig of free storage right so even if you didn't pay for the pro plan, you have 20 gig of storage. Um, um, compared with Google, Google gave 15, the rest gave five, the rest gave 10, okay? But Mega gave you 20 gig of storage. And it also has some really nice end-to-end -end encryption to keep your files safe, okay? And it also offers some collaborative features so you can share your files with other perps, other um, computer phones or other people, okay? And the disadvantage to when compared with Google Drive, remember our big comparison is Google Drive, right? Is that you cannot edit the files or document inside of Mega, okay? Because we already know that Google Drive has G Suite, OneDrive has um, Microsoft 365, okay? But inside of Mega, you cannot what? Edit your files. That's edit documents, okay? But the be beautiful thing is you can stream um videos or stream file or check out the file inside of mega within mega so i think this is also going to be a solution if you are running out of space but you have a lot of um videos all right or a lot of files inside your phone you can just switch you know just move them inside your mega so that you can you know have storage space on your phone okay so and in terms of pricing i think mega it's quite expensive especially when compared with google drive because for two terabyte that google would have given you hundred dollars per year mega will give it to you at 117 dollars per year okay and they also have their business plan that starts at five dollars every month for each user and then they have a plan called pro 2 that offers you eight terabyte for 234 dollars so if you like um mega maybe because of the 20 gig of storage that you never even wanted to buy the pro version of any of this cloud storage then you might want to go for mega so guys these are all of what the five awesome alternatives to google drive i found and tried out that you too might want to also switch right switch from your google drive to any of this five we talked about OneDrive. we talked about p cloud we talked about box we talked about sync then we talked about mega thank you if you've seen this to this point and tell me which of these cloud storages would you want to switch if you have been a google drive fan was that video helpful? You might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one I released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you'll always be the first to know when I release a fresh video. That is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to. <laughs> my name is Frederick. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.